Dr. Wong, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. So what is the Impella 5? So the Impella 5 is actually a temporary uh, left ventricular assist device. This device is very unique in that at the tip of this uh, catheter-based uh, uh, platform, there's a what we call micro um, pump that literally is able to pump five liters of blood flow from the left ventricle into the aorta. And the unique thing about this device is that it can be inserted um, through one of the peripheral arteries, like your femoral artery or your axillary artery, into the heart. And so the um, it's a very minimally invasive approach to get a lot of blood flow to support the heart and the body. So instead of cutting open a patient's chest, you're able to go through a little incision in someone's leg? That's correct, yes. Okay. Um, what is the benefit? I mean, what kind of patient is this for? So if a lot of patients, when they come to us, are very acutely ill, and some of them are not really stable enough to undergo a major operation for us to put a, a more uh, durable or longer-lasting um, ventricular assist device. In those patients who are that critically ill, a device like this is perfect because it involves very little um, work, if you will, on the patient. There's no large incisions to do. patient doesn't have to undergo even general anesthesia. This can often be done under local um, anesthesia and a little bit of sedation, and we can get this device in, get the blood flow restored to the body and the heart, and then get them stabilized. Once they're stabilized on this device, then we have the time to see whether the patient's own heart will recover or whether they will need something more um, uh, uh, permanent, such as a, a longer lasting LVAD or even possibly bridging them to transplant, depending on what their individual cases are like. Yeah. Now that this device isn't set up for something uh, for a patient to live with long term, how, how many days uh, is this appropriate for? So. The, most of these devices are suitable for what we consider short term, which means that it's probably about a week to 10 days. And one of the things about these devices is that they're very, um, while they're very uh, helpful in the acute situation, they're not designed to support patient long term. Patient has to remain in bed and so forth. And so we really don't want to leave this in patient much longer than we absolutely have to, you know, once they start to recover.